hello, this is a self-love extraordinaire. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we talk about all things and everything self-love, self-care, and being self-aware. I am a self-love and femininity coach. Um, I recently decided to add femininity to my resume because um, I really want to embrace class, embrace elegance, rest in my femininity, embrace that way of being, go back to the old landmark, like <laughs> people used to say. And so I just want to create a space for all women that want to take femininity and class and elegance to the next level. Um, I watch a lot of Lisa Hart, um, Fashion Mumbler, um, 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 house, what is it, um, housemaid, um, I watch a lot of, uh, black femininity channels as well, uh, Chloe, um, I'm just trying to, uh, help me so I can help you too, and so I am so grateful for you being on this channel, remember to have tea time with yourself because you are royalty, and on today's episode, we are actually going to be talking about my feminine and elegant perfume collection. Now, I'm still building my collection up day by day. However, um, these are my, I'm going to uh, tell you all a few of my favorites in my collection right now that have me smelling divine. And um, and we'll take it from there. Uh, I'm actually wearing uh, a polka dot, cute little classic blouse with my little dainty necklace, pearl earrings, and uh, I got on black trousers. And I had uh, ballerina flats on because I'm actually, um, I took my dog today to uh, get grooved. And so, you know, gotta look your best. Gotta put an effort these days. Not just going out with sweatpants and t-shirt like I used to do. And so, um, you know, when you try to, you want, you want better, you gotta be better, you gotta do better. And so, uh, let's get into my perfume collection. So... Uh, one of the first ones in my collection is this one. Uh, the Vera Wang Princess. It smells so good. It's like a light floral, uh, scent. You really do smell like a princess after you put this on. And it is, uh, definitely one of my first, uh, scent loves. <laughs> and, um, I really, really love this scent. It's so sweet and nice and vibrant. And it's kind of light, but, uh, not overpowering. And so I thought that was really good, but it is really a beautiful, beautiful scent. Uh, let's see. My next one is, um... This is Shakira Dream, Sweet Dreams, I think. And uh, this one is really, really good too. Once again, it's like a, has like a notes of like vanilla and almond and sandalwood. Longer, but it stays on for like two hours and it's like gone. But like overall though, I really love this scent. It is really, really nice and good for uh, evening wear. Um, actually, this is good. And if you like really, really sweet perfumes, then this one is a home run for you. Uh, so the next one I'm going to introduce is actually from France, and um, it's not really like a perfume. It is a um, a, a fragrance, a um, an E D toilet, I think. Yes, uh, it's by Panier Panier Gisson in Provence. Uh, e D toilet, uh, rose essential oil, made in France. I mean, show y'all close up. Sorry for the light, but yeah, that's it. And uh, let me show you all how it looks like this. And it looks like this cute little bottle um, made in France. And this is the perfect daytime fragrance. I am a big rose lover. I'm a big rose person. Uh, I, I, if you saw my previous videos, I have rose oil and rose water for the daytime. I use this sometime at night too because um it really yeah. and it is just overall a nice sweet lightweight scent. A nice sweet lightweight rosy daytime scent. And uh I really stand by this fragrance. This is my favorite daytime fragrance. I need like two or three of these because <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous this fragrance. I am in love with this fragrance to say the least. It is a beautiful person. Um, next is uh, actually, oh, I gotta clean this little. But uh, next is my first love <laughs> fragrance, 
and that is Angel by Theri Mugler. <laughs> this, it, oh, I have um, Alien 2 actually, but uh, that's really a strong fragrance. But I fell in love with Angel the first time I smelled it with my mom and I in the mall. And at, ever since then, I have been addicted to the lotion, to the cream, but I always go back to the perfume it is a beautiful beautiful perfume it smells so nice Terry Mugler knows what he is doing and uh if you want to start off with like a nice I guess starter <laughs> uh, feminine fragrance then I would say go for Angel because Angel led me to all my other loves <laughs> for fragrance but this angel perfume is the OG as they say and um, I think you would really uh, love it too I got the small one because as you see only only spray like, boop, boop, like that only like one or two sprays is all you need so uh, I try to conserve my perfumes as well because perfumes is not cheap <laughs> and so uh, yeah so this is a Terry Mugler uh, angel I absolutely love angel uh, my next perfume on the list, and um, this is actually my favorite perfume now. It is Pascal Morbito Purple Ruby. And yes, it's another fragrance from France, but uh, uh, the past, and it has the red, I think they're fake, obviously, but like uh, red rubies in, in here. <laughs> But uh, this fragrance is so lovely. This has definitely become my favorite fragrance. I mean, it is. it has because, like, you can, when you spray it, you just actually smell the vanilla and smell, like, the fruitiness of it. And, like, after a few hours, you smell, like, the uh, ending notes. Not the ending notes, but you know what I mean. Like, the... Uh, you smell all these different notes of all these different types of fragrances and it makes this beautiful Coachella of like loveliness uh this is as i i never thought angel would be like angel used to be number one but ever since getting this fragrance this is number one because to me because it is so nice and sweet this one actually stays on a long time hours like hours <laughs> It will have you smelling so good, so divine. It is a really, really beautiful fragrance. I need to get two of these as well. But um, it is a beautiful, I am so happy I decided um, to try it. Because it is uh, a beautiful, beautiful fragrance um, made in France. Um, as you can see, I like a lot of French stuff. But um, yeah, uh, Pascal Morbito. If you want to look it up, beautiful fragrance, you will like it. It is light, once again, nice, lightweight, soft, yet fruity, and you smell it, uh, but it's not overpowering. Very beautiful fragrance. Definitely my favorite uh, fragrance. And um, as we are coming to the end here, uh, the next one is, um, and this is also a good uh, starter feminine fragrance as well, um, the Kim Kardashian. The Kim Kardashian fragrance is really nice. I didn't expect it to be as nice as it was. Now, this one is a, like a medium strength. Um, however, you do smell beautiful and delicious all day. Um, going out for the evening, this would be a beautiful, like, to have dinner with your friends or something. The girls' night out. Like, this would be a really nice fragrance. And um, once again, it's not overpowering. It's like medium strength. But it is a really, really nice fragrance. And one of the last fragrances I'm going to end it with is a beautiful classic one. It's a classic fragrance. And I don't wear this all the time. I wear it for like special occasions. But it is Chanel number no. 5. Chanel number no. 5. It's definitely a classic. I've had this for years. The reason I've had this for years is because I do not use it that much. Um, I use it very, very sparingly. Um, it is very, this one is strong, very musty. I heard about um, Chanel Coco uh, Mademoiselle, I think is it, uh, Mademoiselle by uh, Chanel. And um, 
I want to try that one, but I want to get the classic first. And this one is, I gotta be honest, it's not my favorite fragrance at all, but it is good to have in your arsenal. And I know everyone knows the classic scent, the classic smell, the classic experience of Chanel number five. So I had to, and this was, I got this years ago like 10 years ago but um like i said it really keeps keeps its scent it is a really nice perfume and i'm glad i have it in my arsenal <laughs> in my perfume collection um now um i do want to try some other ones um sparkling blush by michael kors i still want to get uh, la vie and rose by lacombe i still want to buy it and um uh, I know there's a few other ones I still have to buy, Black Opium. I, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I appreciate the time we spent together here. Uh, this is the Self Love Extraordinaire, your self love and femininity coach. Because when you smell good, you look good, you feel good. And um, it puts you in a good mood. <laughs> and um, the better, the more you respect yourself, the better the world respects you and uh, just make an effort. That's what my mom always used to say, make E for effort. <laughs> just make an effort to uh, wake up, be your best, do your best, and just be the best person you can be. Have tea time with yourself because you are royalty. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Uh, Thank you all for your your love and your likes and uh, your comments. I appreciate it. And um, I'll see you back here with another video. Right, lovey dovey? Okay, I will see you later. I hope you all had a great Super Bowl Sunday. And bye.